Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about cross validation and we are going to do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to extract Google data set from day one to 200 and then I'm going to use a one step cross validation by using the drift method. So here I'm using the function TS time series cross validation and my first argument is uh, the forecasting method and in this case it's random walk forecast with the drift which is the drift method and uh, then I'm passing this function h equals 1 which is our cross validation uh, time horizon which in this case is one step uh, in the future. So let's go ahead and save uh, this as e and then what we are going to do is we are we are squaring all these forecasting errors remember there are as many errors as the number of observations and then we are calculating the mean value of the square of all these uh, errors and uh, taking the square root of uh, that mean value and we are getting a value of 6.23 so this is the value for the cross validation now what we can do is we can also calculate uh, within sample mean squared error that is we're going to use these 200 observations using the drift method and then we're going to calculate the residuals from the same model and here we are not calculating the out of sample uh, error we are calculating the error from the same uh, 200 observations and then we are taking the mean of uh, those errors and then taking the square root of uh, that mean and hence calculating the root mean squared and see here this error is uh, 6.16 so seems like in sample error is smaller and we may get the sense that our model is uh, performing pretty well but the problem is as soon as uh, this model will encounter any unknown data point it will not perform as good as uh, this uh, number is telling us on an unknown data set this uh, method will give us a little bit larger error so that is why it is preferable to use uh, cross validation so these were uh, some of the methods that you can use to compare various uh, models and test the accuracy of the model. The goal here is to see how any forecasting method will uh, perform on an unknown data set, the data point that it has never seen before. Because obviously that is uh, the goal to predict a value in the future that we have not uh, seen before. So we can get a sense of uh, that performance by skipping a part of the data set and then calculating uh, the average across uh, those uh, skipped data points that is cross validation it, it gives us an idea about the performance of any forecasting method and any forecasting method which gives us a minimum forecasting error is the best method all right i'll see you in the next video bye bye